Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the woods of Idaho. Jeremy from T-Tag here. Today we're checking out, this is the third installment in the AR-15 trigger roundup actually. This is CMC triggers. It's the three and a half pound tactical trigger with the straight trigger shoe. Today the CMC is also on the budget end of the spectrum for drop in AR-15 triggers. So let's go in for a closer look and see what you get for your money. All right, let's go in for a closer look at the trigger pull. And one thing I should mention right off the bat is that unlike basically all of the other drop-in triggers on the market, there is no means by which the drop-in unit can be snugged up inside of your receiver. And with a few different trigger pins, including the ones that came with the CMC trigger, there's actually some wiggle room. The holes through the trigger, the bushings, are a slightly larger diameter than the diameter of the pins, which makes sense because you have to be able to get them through there. But what that means is that there's actually some wiggle room in your receiver. And maybe you can hear this. So it's a pretty minor nitpick, but this slack you can sometimes feel when you go shooting and it feels like just a little bit of slack or wiggle in the trigger uh, because, you know, that's what it is. If I owned this trigger unit, I would probably put something underneath the back of it between it and the receiver. Uh, like a little piece of double-sided tape, you know, the foam kind, something to just squish in there, press the trigger unit up, and take up that slack. Like most of the other ones have set screws. Some of them have a little bit of rubber or even springs underneath them, but something to take up that slack. So disregarding that possible little source of wiggle, once you put your finger on it, that is taken up, and now you are right up against the sear. There is no further take up or slack. Pulling it slowly shows really no discernible creep at all. It's a nice clean break with very little over travel. Now the reset, relatively short. It is audible and you can feel it in your finger. And then pulling back on it again, no slack. Another clean break. Overall, a really great feeling trigger on the fundamentals. Very, very nice. Now, real quick before moving on, I thought we would discuss the build of the CMC trigger unit itself because it is a bit of an outlier in the market. Now, I do have a couple more that aren't on the table right now because they're in rifles for testing, but this does represent most of the drop-in trigger market. All of these have machined aluminum bodies. They're CNC machined from a piece of aluminum billet and they are anodized. The only exception besides the CMC is the Wilson Combat Trigger. This is actually machined from a piece of steel. Now the CMC was the lowest cost option by a pretty darn decent margin until this Velocity Trigger came along. This one is also an aluminum billet that's machined and then anodized. The CNC uh, kept costs down by doing something that's even simpler, which is it's actually made out of steel sheet metal. It's a piece of steel sheet metal that is bent into shape, as you can see and the trigger parts are inside of it with those uh, bushings. Now, just to be clear, I, I really have nothing against this at all. It's, it's more than sufficient, it's very light, it's very simple, and it keeps costs down, and I think that's great. And you still get a drop-in trigger that's a lot easier to install than your normal multiple part trigger. Now, so the only other note really on the build is that the hammer itself is quite skinny, and the disconnector is also skinny. And I really don't know if that's a problem. I don't think it's an issue, but I know a lot of other manufacturers like to make a point of stating that they have a full one quarter inch width hammer and a full one quarter inch width disconnector. Most of the ones here are one quarter inch width, but some of them are not. And this one is an example of a unit that uses a skinny disconnector and a skinnier hammer as well. <laughs> Holy crap, I did not expect all the flame out of that juggernaut tactical break there. That actually like startled me after that first shot. <laughs> big freaking fireball. Uh, cool, it's a fast trigger.
Oh man, I've never actually experienced that before. Uh, this thing is pushing the muzzle down so hard that it's kicking the stock up into my cheekbone. A little bit weird, but it is not a review of the brake, it's a review of the trigger. And that thing feels great for both slow, precise shots and rapid fire. Yes, as you can see, I did forget to put sights on this gun before I came out to the woods today. I was doing that muzzle brake shootout testing, but like I said, I put hundreds of rounds for this trigger and uh, no complaints. As usual, thank you for joining me out in the woods. Hope you can hear me over the babbling of this brook. I'll tell you, the CMC trigger is great. Uh, Drop-in, of course, is really nice. The price point of this is good. It was the lowest price, I think, on the market until that velocity trigger came along and beat it on price. I would say, unfortunately, that velocity also beats it on quality. The trigger pull is a little bit better. The features are a little bit better. I, uh, I definitely prefer it. I think it's better made has the MP3 coating, the, the quality is better, and the uh, like I said, the trigger pull fundamentals are better. So I would not choose the CMC over the Velocity. However, it does come pre-installed on a lot of rifles, like this Lancer Lower, and it's excellent. I probably would not see any reason to change it out. It is a really, really good trigger. Again, I would modify it a little bit myself by putting something squishy uh, underneath the back of it to lift it up and kind of pin it in the receiver so it doesn't wiggle a little little bit but i don't think most people would even notice that i do like the look at this straight trigger shoe it also feels really good on your finger i know that little lip on the bottom might look like it's uncomfortable but it's not it gives your finger a really nice place to rest in the same spot every time and consistency is great for accuracy so if you're on a budget i would definitely still recommend it although not more than that velocity trigger all right, please like and subscribe if you would, especially if you'd like to be notified about future videos like the next six installments of the AR-15 drop-in trigger roundup, maybe seven. As usual, check out the link in the video description below to thetruthaboutguns.com, T-Tag for the full write-up on this CMC trigger with photos and more information. And I hope you'll join me in the woods again next time.